<clears throat> I'm sorry you're ignorant of history, you know? I'm sorry you hate people that defended their own homes and farms from an invading terrorist army from Abraham Lincoln that had almost half a million mercenaries who went out and murdered the American Indians from the Mississippi to the ocean. General Sherman, the same man, the Yankee Union general that burned Atlanta, is also responsible for the final solution, which was about American Indians, not Jews. Started putting bounties on their head. It was General Custer. who used to fight with General Stewart. General Custer, Yankee Union Army that went out west to Wounded Knee and Little Bighorn. Massacred women, children, and elderly people at Wounded Knee. Cutting up scalps. They used to put naked Native American children as young as nine up on a stage called Custer's Corral. Look this up, you ignorant fuck. And they would auction them off. To get raped by gangs of cowboys and gangs of their Union soldiers that were going out west. Sometimes they'd pull their money together as a gang so they could get the best price and gang rape a little girl to death. So fuck you and fuck General Custer and those statues and fuck Sherman. Burning cities down, murdering people, raping people. Then they enslaved the Chinese to help build the railroad for... Lincoln's own inner circle as a railroad lawyer building them from Chicago to San Francisco and if you don't know the horror of the railroad history for the Chinese blacks and Irish I'm sorry but be mad at your own ignorance the Confederates rebelled against that secession had a number of reasons the war is because the North invaded the South the North put naval blockades on the South, tried to enforce a tax they couldn't pay. That's why the first shots were at Fort Sumter that collected the taxes. They didn't start shooting slaves. They didn't do it. All the, fort, all the import-export forts were the first targets. And Lincoln physically started the first deaths of the Civil War was when the regiment from Massachusetts crossed in in Baltimore, fired into a crowd, killing civilians in Maryland. And then he went around arresting judges... I can't, I can't explain the whole Civil War to you right now, but you are dumb as hell. And I will... Look, you can go to Brand New Tube. Brand New Tube at Ryan Dawson Show. And I have some talks about the Civil War. Some more civil talks. But you don't get to decide what something means to someone else. The Confederate flag through my whole life. right? It's in state flags right now. You can't honestly think all those people are racist, right? These statues and stuff have been here over a hundred years. People walking by, not a problem. They understand what it is. They didn't get their education from watching Bill Riccio on, on HBO and movies like Forrest Gump and all these stupid, you know, pro shit lib propaganda that demonizes the South that automatically lowers your IQ point if you have a Southern accent. Calling them all cousin fucking racist and backwards. That's how Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood likes to divide the country. You know northern states had slaves, right? Kentucky, West Virginia, Delaware, Maryland, Washington, D.C., Missouri. And they were debating on whether or not to have that in the New Mexican territories. Or Nevada territories, excuse me. And then they had slaves after the war was over. That's the best part. And three northern states wouldn't even ratify the amendment uh, that finally did liberate black slavery. Still had Chinese slavery later. They really had slavery up until the 1920s because they paid people in script. You know what script is? Script is money that can only be used in a certain location. So I'm your employer and I pay you in script and you can only use it at my company store. So basically, whatever labor you did that I paid you for, you have to then come buy your food and everything from me so I get it all right back and you have to rent your equipment and you have to rent your tent etc and you may end up in debt you may end up with less than a slave and that went on until the Blair Mountain of Re Rebellion and other things they strike in Colorado different events where Americans with guns challenged the federal government in both southern and union states after World War One. And they were still murdering Indians up until World War One. 
They did a sterilization program for American Indians in the 1970s called the Family Planning Act. George Bush Sr. took part in that. They stole the skull of Geronimo. It's now sitting, probably getting jacked off on by Skull and Bones members. 25% of Native American women under the guise of vaccinations were sterilized without their knowledge. They also sterilized a number of black people. That wasn't in the 1870s. That was in the 1970s. I could have been one of those babies. They were also stealing white children. Blonde children. Ric Flair was one of those. You know Ric Flair, the wrestler? Woo! Rick, that Ric Flair? His parents were told that he died. And the people that adopted him were told the mother died. And that he didn't have a father. And they were selling Aryan babies to wealthy families. And lying to both sides. So excuse me, Bill Gates, when somebody, you know, wants to give a vaccine out to the third world or whatever and travel around where a lot of poor people are so they can, uh, we know they had bestiality in Haiti. I'm starting to cross the line here on YouTube. I can't get into it, right? It gets real dark. You know what Epstein were doing? They would go find the noobles, right? Those that just had the periods. They'd scan the trailer parks and stuff, but they'd also love to take first class trips to third world nations where they could gather up people who don't have a voice and that didn't matter if it was in Eastern Europe or Africa, whatever. And they raped and they killed these kids. 